for Snohetta, we find the most value in, and we gauge the success of a project based on how people use it and how they feel when they're there. Thinking about people first is a big driver for us. The, uh, the Oslo Opera House. What I find so fascinating about that is, and that's a good example of a very technical program. I mean, an opera and ballet has a tremendous amount of technical requirements. It's also a very um, specialized performance, in some ways kind of not accessible to everyone. It's somewhat elite, you could say. But what I think is so amazing about that project in particular is in creating this roof over all of that, in a positive way, it subverts ballet and opera and makes it a lot more approachable and uh, public. I would say it's, it did a lot to restore my faith in architecture when I saw it. I think it's a really good building. And it's not just because it's beautiful, it's because of all these other things that it does. Most architects love old buildings. So I think it's fascinating that even though we love old buildings, we don't design old buildings. I really admire a terracotta texture on a facade and I'll admire the brickwork and, and I'll see that the bricks are slightly different hues and they're not perfect. And there's a sense of tactility that is hard to replicate with current technology. Like a metal panel is a metal panel, it gets mass produced. I would like to see more natural materials. I think I'd like to see a little more restraint. And I think we're going in that direction. I, I think with the computers coming in, there was definitely a phase where so much was possible that um, we were all trying to find the limits. And I think now we're realizing that we're not gonna find the limits in the technology because the technology can allow us to do almost anything that we need to find the limits somewhere else. And maybe that'll come from our sense of values and what we define as being important.